Hey everybody, I'm Aaron. I'm a sales tech here at Nagios Enterprises, and I'd like to welcome you to this series on administration in Nagios XI. Generally, we are going to work through the administration page in the Nagios XI interface, and specifically, we're going to talk about a few things. First, we're going to start off talking about users, both administrative and standard users. We're going to talk about Active Directory and LDAP integration. We're going to talk about the audit log. We're going to cover NRDS. We're going to cover custom action URLs, and we're going to cover RSS feeds, among others. So stay tuned. Our first video here is going to be about administering the administrative users on your Nagios XI system. Here it comes. Okay, so one of the first things we have to make clear is that you do need to have access to an administrator account in order for these tutorials to do much for you, because if you don't have an admin account, you won't actually be able to see the admin page that we are going to be on. So with that in mind, we're going to go over here to the left sidebar on the admin page. We're going to click Manage Users, and you're going to see some things. We could add a new user. We could add users from LDAP or AD. We could email all the users. You're also going to see a listing of every user that is already on the system. So we could go over here, we can take a look, we could edit the user, we could clone the user, we can masquerade as a user, which is powerful, and we'll get back to that. We can disable the account, or we can delete the account. So let's start off here. We're going to add a new user, and we're going to talk about admin users generally. So pretty standard stuff, username, password, repeat password, are you going to force them to change the password at their next login, should we email them some stuff? Let's go down here when we get to the security settings, because that's where a lot of the power is here. So you'll see that a user can either be a standard user or an admin. And if they're a user, none of these boxes down here come checked to start, but we can check or uncheck those for standard users. For admins, these are already checked, right? So it's an admin already has all of these rights, and we can check the has API access or not. Uh, it doesn't matter because this admin, once we have the account set up, can log back in and can change this or any other setting on here. And that's an important point to know just security-wise. There are no super admins. Every admin is created equally. So here's what that means. When we go back over here, we can take a look and if you remember the masquerade as, now it's super handy, especially for users, um, because you can, it's an easy way to log into their account and see what they can see and make sure that you have their settings set up. But um, as an admin, you can, um, you know, I could masquerade as admin test, and you can see up here in the top right that the name has changed, but otherwise it's generally the same. So. Um, we go back to admin and manage users, and now we can go back, and now I'm going to go back to being Nagios admin. So that's really the important thing to keep in mind about admins is that once you're an admin, you have all the power. You can masquerade as a different admin. So what is also important to know is that you can set up user accounts, which we'll cover in the next video, to give them a lot of power, right? I mean, they can get actual work done. So people don't necessarily have to be an admin in order to do their daily work in things that interact with Nagios XI. So that's important to know in that regard. Um, so um, an admin can delete an account, um, you can disable an account, all of those sorts of things. So that's the brief overview on administrative users. Super powerful and there's no super user. Keep that in mind and stay tuned for the next video where you can figure out how to fine tune standard user permissions so that they can get their work done and they don't mess up your system.